here in this deciding game for who's going to quarterfinals now and who's got to keep fighting as we move forward in the Swiss stage. Oh, he's already back on the blue. <laughs> oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's already there. Paige just creeping around. Yeah, Lehens walking down here underneath the tier one turret, but the teleport will arrive. Keen level two here oh, on man. the Aurora, but man, Keen is in some trouble. He flashes away, tries to use the weirding to keep himself alive. Delight survives the damage of the turret, and that's already a one nothing for HLE here in the early game. They're about to make it two. Peanut at least dies to the turret, so there's one traded back, but the play goes positive for HLE. Level one paranoia, not the longest range, but it's long enough. Zenith Blade to lead the engage. Lehens starting it off as Viper Viper still tries to escape. The cleanse ain't gonna do it. The bailout ain't gonna do it. The piercing arrow is not enough. Peanut shows up, but it's too little. It's too late. It's too good for Gen G, who tie up the game two to two. It's a four-man move from HLE. They're gonna be the first to commit here to this river. If Kenny can steal away even a single grub, that's all they need. He flies into the middle of everybody. The solar flare coming down over the top. The canyon is already dead. A nice hostile takeover fired back in. But Viper now dies as Paze takes him out. Lehens drops to Doran. And Peanut has to flash back over the wall. Chovy has finally joined. And Doran has to try to get away. But a double kill back over to the Twitch. He is hiding no longer. The Gnar separated from the rest of the team. Doran's about to transform back from Mega Gnar. This is not a good state for HLE to try to go in for a fight. They wanted to try to grab Lehens. There's the handshake with Mom over the top, and Zekka gets the first kill. They're trying to go between worlds. Kanan's in the front of everybody, and Paze is free firing. The kills start coming in for both sides. Make it three for Paze. Two of them picked up by Jovi, though, as Peanut and Zekka try to get away. A triple for Jovi, and Peanut's the last man standing. Ending. Joey cleans him up! A quadra kill for the Gen G mid! Uh, well, frisky with the mid lane here. Well, Viper tried to catch him with the Chains of Corruption since that's already down, and Chovy already had to use the ulti to escape, and he feels fine trying to scrap with the rest of the cooldowns as Canyon and Lehens have to try to get away now. They try to flash out to survive the Glacial Prison. Paze is firing into everybody, but he's finally caught. Zekka kills him. Gen G has overextended, and they are punished for it. A lot invested there, but a Nocturne ult on him. Yeah, Canyon has found his target here with Zekka's smoke. Older. Mom summoned. Maybe it would have been enough to save him just from Nocturne, but not from the backup, too. Keen will be the one to take the kill as Pays also provides additional damage. Narbar charged. Gets charmed, though. Snot Bubble hits the hands. There goes Mom. A little bit more damage by doing it. Viper grabs the kill. The Drake also secured by HLE. Beautiful start of the fight so far as Chovy can't get anything else done. No charges left in the Spirit Rush. HLE played that wonderfully. Oh, the Decisions have to be instantaneous to go for. Zekka approaching 300 stacks here, gets away from the charm, but Paze has already opened up on Viper. Now you gotta be careful, because Delight is about to die too, and Doran's caught between worlds. Jovi and Canyon ready to follow up as the Gnar can't transform in time. Flashing away with a Sterix gauge active, throws a boulder right back to him. Peanut still looking for maybe an angle, his mom comes in, but Jovi's gonna be protected by the shield. HLE lose their AD carry. Genji already got it down to about half. Doran here on the front line, Baron at 6k, HP, HLE piling in. Lehens tries to get away. Doran still at about half HP now as Peanut has to fully escape. Arctic Assault backwards. It's Baron so still aggroed at 3,000. Doran still trying to transform. Oh. He needs to go into Mega Gnar. Peanut's behind the wall into the pit, but the Baron's going to be secured by Canyon. Now HLE trapped between a wall and an enemy team. Canyon gets the kill on Doran, and Chovy goes over looking for a little bit more. They want to kill the Smolder, and Zekka pops. They all drop and it looks like the hopes are done dead and gone for hle all right can they close it though here genji now with massive lead oh hle walks way too close to the brush and there's no way out for delight with renata down Am I allowed to bet? Is it too late? I, I think yeah, the, sure. betting window, no, the betting window is closed on this one. That is it for Doran. 50 seconds on the respawn clock, and it's already dissipated. The Elder's not going to spawn for another five minutes, but they don't really need a mega buff right now. They're ahead 8,000 gold. They've got an Infernal Soul. That's a mega buff on its own, as now the Glacial Prison immediately finds Chovy upon teleport, but the counterattack is there. Pays is hitting everybody. He flashes. He cleanses, and he ends.
and to everybody on HLE, exactly like we said, pays on the Twitch. He came into the game with a 100% win rate on it. He's going to leave the game with a 100% win rate on it. Chen G is going to show HLE that the finals are not the rule, but they are the exception. This squad has controlled the Korean League of Legends scene for a damn long time and they're showing if they're looking to keep that rolling in worlds as they punch their ticket to the quarterfinals.